Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Simply Carrie. So today I am getting ready to go to see a weight loss doctor. It's been a moment since I have um, done any videos having to do with my weight and my weight loss journey. So um, let me just fill you in on a couple of things that's been happening. I went on the keto diet. I was doing the intermittent fasting. I was only able to, I, I was successful in fasting for 24 hours one day. Did very well and it kind of helped things out. It's, it, it kind of um, put my body, body in a balance. And I started doing the keto. Keto was working out okay. I actually did see a 10 pound weight loss. Um, I got down, like my body was fluctuating. I was going up and down, up and down. I was, I had gotten as far up as one, no, I'm sorry, not one, 240. Um, so with the fasting and the keto, I literally was able to get myself down to about 220. 225 was the lowest that I had seen my weight go down. But once again, I kept seeing the fluctuation in the weight. So right now, I just weighed myself at home just to see where I was, and I was at 234, okay? So I did see the weight loss. However, I can't stick with the keto diet. It's just too much for me. It's too hard. Um, and then I don't like the idea of constantly eating a lot of meat and a lot of fat, um, I'm not really eating the vegetables the way I need to eat vegetables, so that's a big problem as well. So I've just really kind of fallen off the wagon as far as the keto diet is concerned, and I'm really not interested in hopping back on that wagon. So um, I need to lose, I really want to lose weight, I'm desperate, and I've just decided let me call this weight loss doctor that I know of. Um, I've seen this doctor before and I have had success, but then I have also had setbacks as well. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, this weight loss medication. It's Fenterman. Um, I'm going to talk about me being on it before and then what happened after I got off and then tried to do it again. So I started. I was introduced to Fenterman and introduced to this doctor that I'm getting ready to go see um, back when I was in my 30s. I was like 36, 37 years old and I had put on some weight. I was at 180 pounds. Now mind you, I'm 5'8", okay? So it's not super major, but you know, it's not where I wanted to be. So I wanted to drop weight. I got in touch with this doctor. He prescribed Fenterman, okay? and the Fenterman, it, it worked miracles. It was beautiful. I mean, I literally dropped the weight. I dropped down to 140, okay? Um, now, mind you, even though I was taking the medication, it gave me the energy that I needed to work out, and because I was seeing the results, I had the motivation to continue to, um, you know, to exercise, and I mean, I literally was, I was, I was, working out. I was working out probably almost every day. So I can't remember because it's been such a, it's been a long time. I don't remember how long it took me to lose the, lose that weight, but it wasn't a very long time. The weight came off like that. Okay. I mean, it was like really quick. Um, so I did enjoy it. Now, this is the problem. Right after I lost, a little bit after I lost the weight, I got married and I got pregnant so I ended up gaining the gaining weight but it was due to the pregnancy now after I had my son okay I um, I dropped back down but then I noticed my weight started to pick up it's my weight was not the same anymore I was not one of those people who did yo-yo diets I was not one of those people who fluctuated as far as their weight is concerned I didn't go up and down I had a pretty steady weight whatever it was so at that point I noticed that my weight it's going it wasn't even going up and down my weight started going up and up and up 
and up. It was like it was uncontrollable. Every time I got on the scale, I was another five pounds heavier, okay? So that contributed to some depression and so on and so forth. Um, it's a little sketchy in my head as to when I started taking antidepressants, which also added to my weight gain, okay? But I did go back to Fenterman. I did go back to the same doctor. I got back on Fenterman and... It, it just was not the same. I wasn't able to see the weight loss that I had seen uh, prior to, and I saw a lot of side effects. One of the side effects was dry mouth. I mean, really dry. And the other one was, um, I mean, I had the jitters. It was like drinking too much coffee. Um, but the one thing that really got me, and it got me to a point where it was like, I can't take it anymore, is it started to develop sores in my mouth, okay? So once I had the sores in my mouth, it was really sore and bothersome, I, I just gave up, you know? Um, I just didn't see any results, and I couldn't tolerate it in the same way, okay? So I just gave up on the Fenterman, and I didn't take it anymore. In fact, I just kind of gave up on all weight loss medication um, altogether and let me tell you I've been on quite a few I've been on Contrave which is to me it's garbage it did nothing I ordered that online um, I've been on Orlistat Orlistat will make you um, you will not be able to hold oil in so if you eat anything of that that has fat um, it's going to come out of your body Okay, so it's going to be excreted out of your body. So if you pass gas, guess what? If you eat eating something oily, it's coming out. You better wear a diaper. Okay, so Orlistat is a nasty drug. I'm not touching that. Um, now, I did lose weight again with Wellbutrin. When I ended up on Wellbutrin and Topiramate, I was put on both of those combinations together. Um... I had a lot of energy. I would get up in the morning. I couldn't sleep. So I decided I'm going to go work out. So I would go work out. And um, I mean, I dropped the weight like that. Okay. But once again, eventually, I think I got down to 145. And then at some point, it was like a cutoff period. I just started gaining weight and I'd try to work out. But every time I got on the scale, I'm five pounds heavier and I'm five pounds heavier and what happens is when you start seeing that weight gain like that for me it do, it doesn't motivate me it gets me depressed it gets me upset so now I am going to reach for the cookies I am going to reach for things that I probably shouldn't be eating and then it will help to add to the situation okay now I was looking at um, a video of a doctor who was breaking down all the different types of weight loss medications and um, Fenterman in particular and I think just about all of them um, the weight does come back is what he said so am I feeling good about about going to the doctor to get this medication again not really because obviously the weight's going to come back again, okay, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to be able to retrain myself and, and change my habits, it's actually lifestyle that I've got to change in order to maintain the weight and not see this weight come back, okay, um, so that's something that I really got to work hard at. Now, another thing too is while I'm on the medication, Okay, um, I've got to figure out how to tolerate this medication because I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to get the dry mouth. I'm going to get the jitters. I could probably kind of handle the jitters, but the dry mouth and the sores in the mouth, I'm not, it's, it's going to be kind of tough to tolerate. So I am going to talk to the doctor about that, which I did talk to them before, and they said rinse with salt water. Okay, but there is something, um, there's a mouthwash that I could probably get that I could probably start rinsing my mouth out with that might help uh, with that situation. And then I plan to drink a lot of water and boost my vitamin C and my vitamins. Uh, and maybe that'll kind of help me to tolerate this drug a little bit better. 
so I'll see. But anyhow, today is, um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to see the doctor today to pick up the medication. I'm not going to start it today. I am going to start it tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, uploading videos and, you know, giving an update about the medication and how it's doing. So... Um, if you're trying to lose weight and you want to know more about the Fenterman, um, stay tuned. Definitely uh, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of those videos that I'll be uploading about my weight loss journey, the second stage of my weight loss journey, okay, because I am so determined. All right, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments. If there's anything that you want to see having to do with weight loss, um, go ahead and put those in the comments as well, and I'll get back with you. And I will let you know how, um, how this is going, all right? All right, so thanks for listening to me chit-chat about this situation, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.